Uh, the Gen 3 direct action response kits, it is a little bit wider front to rear. The tourniquet pouch is on the front. The tourniquet pouch will hold the Gen 7 cat or the soft T wide. Uh, either side of the kit has uh, shear retention straps and one row of molly webbing right there. Uh, and you can run either your standard shears or you can run in, uh, you can upgrade to the, uh, to the rip shears for uh, additional fee. Uh, the back of the kit has the, uh, has the two straps here that are snapped in place. The opening on Gen 3 and Gen 4 uh, remain the same. You grab the, the pull tab here, pull up, and there is your, there's your uh, lanyard, elevator lanyard right there to pull the kit up into your hand. Now, the Gen 4 is a flatter version. All we've done is taken the tourniquet pouch off the front per user feedback, Slide that around the side, it'll still fit the Gen 7 cat or the soft T-wide tourniquet with no problem. It's a lot more narrow on the front to rear aspect as opposed to the side to side aspect of the Gen 3. Gen 3 is more narrow uh, side to side, Gen 4 is more narrow um, front to rear. If you look at the side to side aspect on the Gen 3 and the Gen 4, you can see this is noticeably a little bit thicker. So guys who need a little more low profile can carry the Gen 4. Uh, We've maintained the, uh, the shear retention strap on the left side so you can carry a pair of shears or if you want to throw another tourniquet in there, that's fine too. You can actually add a tourniquet holder that holds the molly. Uh, First Spear did a 6 to 9 duty back on here and it's got a detachable belt straps that uh, will fit up to a 2 and a quarter inch belt with no problem. Now if you don't want belt straps, no problem. Take these off and it's got a weave and tuck uh, uh, system on here for the straps. You weave them through your molly webbing, tuck them in and uh, the tension holds them in place.